very empty and unloved, I think. I understand it was empty for two years before we moved in. Uh, it was a travel agent. Well, it used to be an old butter chicken shop, so there was lots of grease and dirt. It was completely empty, only a sink in the back corner, and that was it. We asked Renew to fill five shops. Uh, we have five vacant tenancies, and they're particularly um, down one laneway. And so we've worked to fill those with some really interesting projects and also led a bit of a redesign of the space to give people a reason to come through here and to stop here and spend time here. Our shop's called Booknook and Bee. The bakery, the cocoa stock. My shop is the flower book. We did a lot of scraping paint off glass. It was completely empty. It was a very empty space and quite a dead space. 15,000 people walk through Topham Mall each week and more than two thirds just don't actually stop and engage with the area. The transformation it was really unexpected in some ways. A couple of days after the new shops opened, I had two of the traders coming up to me and being inspired by what they saw and also wanting to make changes to their shops. So we worked really closely with Adelaide City Council, their placemaking team in particular, and then with Noki and Tenton Gibson on the redesign of the space, and with Renewal SA and Adelaide City Council generally who fund us. I probably wouldn't have taken the risk of opening up a shop if I didn't have, if it wasn't through the Renew Adelaide program. Um, so I'm really lucky that I've had the opportunity to do that and it's going really well so far. The kickstart to, to get our, our baby dreams going. But if it wasn't for them, Renew would probably still be working for someone else rather than... Um, we're getting up at 2am for ourselves. <laughs> we managed to come from a small market sort of situation to a retail business. It's changed the perception of people no longer see it as somewhere to pass through but somewhere to actually stop and explore. It really is a fantastic initiative. I think Adelaide is becoming really exciting. We arrived from London in 2008 to Adelaide, to live in Adelaide, and uh, in the last four, three, four years I've really seen exciting things happening and I think the new Adelaide has got a lot to do with it.